I hope you're having a fabulous day. I bought this Canon AE-1 35 millimeter film camera a few months ago for a little over a hundred dollars, but I had never shot film before. I've shot digital video and photo for years and years and years, so I understand manual controls, but still, Film intimidates me. Over the past few weeks, I have been traveling around California and I said what a perfect opportunity to shoot my first roll of film. I'm not only going to share with you just that journey, but if you are someone who never thought about dabbling in film and maybe you dabbling, dabbing in film, if you are at least a little bit interested in shooting film, but you don't know how, I want to give you the tools to shoot film for the first time. So. We are going to kick things off with getting a little bit of help from my friends at Mango Street. It is a incredible YouTube channel. And then we'll go adventure around California taking film pictures and then the big reveal, my first roll of film. I'm Daniel. I'm Rachel. And we run a channel called Mango Street and we teach photography and videography. We just got done with an awesome video over on their channel that you guys can check out. But this camera, this is a Canon AE-1 film camera. So let's hit just the basics. How does one load the film cool. into a film camera? We're just gonna lift up the rewind reel here and open the back of the camera. So then we'll just pull some of it out. Then we have slots right here on the take-up reel. And I'm gonna feed it through. And you can use the top to help feed it through, right? Yeah, once it's um, once it gets in, you kind of want it to go to the other, uh, the other side of the reel, so it latches on. You can line up the sprockets with those right there, and I can see it wrapped around. Yeah. And now we can close the back, push this down, and then we'll take a few exposures until we get to zero on our counter. So that's your ISO right there. Um, oh, okay. So then what you do is, based on the, the kind of film you get, that's how you know what your ISO is. So the, the 100 there is 100 speed film. So you set your ISO to 100. So then when you're exposing in the camera, your meter knows what kind of ISO film you're right, using. Right, okay. And so you set it on the left. So you push this and then turn this knob. So we'll set that to 100. When you are setting up your shot, uh, you have a built-in light meter that will tell you how to expose your shot, whether it's underexposed, whether it's properly exposed, and that'll help you adjust your settings, like your shutter speed and your aperture. Say we're shooting this chair right now, we need to check the exposure, and if it's not working within your camera, you can actually get an app. What is this app called? Just light? I think it's just called light meter. Okay. So the film is 100, and then since it's so bright, um, the highest shutter speed that... Yeah, this, yeah this, the, the fastest shutter speed the is 1000 on this camera. Cool. And then, um, so it'll tell you what your aperture should be. So if you're shooting this chair, it should be probably F. Eight. My first film picture ever and have a beautiful subject. So we already properly exposed with that handy app. Is it already wounded, winded? Uh, go ahead and do it. I don't know if it'll, okay. it'll, 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 it won't let you. Okay, okay. You look fabulous. Ooh, okay. My first film picture. You did not. <laughs> We stopped at a beautiful outlook off of Highway 1.
outside San Francisco, Santa Barbara, LA. I've taken 20 pictures and supposedly this film has 36 exposures. We're gonna adventure today. Yeah, we are. And I need to take 16 awesome moments on here. We can do that in one day, Is baby. Is that possible? Let's go to the mall today. I got clothes from H&M. And I got shoes from some skate shop. From some skate shop. And we had a lovely brunch. Oh, so nice. A Ooh. Sunday brunch. Um, now we might do some more errands. Running errands in LA, the best for taking film pictures. So I was running out of time to get the film developed because I gotta go get it developed like right now. So we came up here. It's like the parking garage of a LA college. We took the few snaps that I had left on my roll. Now it's time to go get it developed. I'm gonna go to Sammy's camera. A lot of local camera shops will develop film for you. Um, just give them a call. Hopefully it will only take two to three days because I'm about to leave LA. So I need to have it developed before I leave. We have 20 minutes until Sammy's closes, but I watched a tutorial on the way here on how to unload the film, so hopefully it works. You press this button down here. Okay, this. And you wind it on back. Okay, so I hear it going back in the little canister thing. I think that's what's happening. So there's no more friction. So that opened up this. Okay. Just take it out. Boom! We got our film. Let's go develop it. I didn't mess it up. Oh, that was so easy looking. I, know. I didn't hear about that. So I got a high-res scan and also the pictures like in physical form crazy came out to be $31.73 I'm so excited. I've been waiting to see these pictures since I shot them the past three weeks But it only took a day to develop so that got me stoked Let's go to the, the, the big reveal big reveal but it's time to go through all 36 of them. Dun, dun, dun. By the way, if you guys have enjoyed this video so far, let me know if you liked it. Hit the like button down below and subscribe for new videos every single week here on the Sarah Dietschy channel. Become part of the Peachy fam. Things get creative over here. Oh my gosh, the fact that this is the first picture. So this is when I was trying to fill up my roll very quickly and I was just like, hey, John, look up. We were going down a stairwell and oh my gosh, this is stunning. <laughs> Being a skater boy. Okay, you're probably like, Sarah, this is just a picture of a plane, but this was taken on the way to this last spot that we were taking pictures. It was in the car, we were on the highway going 60 miles an hour, and I had it at a super high shutter speed because it was super sunny, so you could do it, um, but I wanted to make sure to capture the plane as I was all bouncy in the car. So super high shutter speeds when you really can't keep your hands steady and you need something that's in motion when you need to capture that. Aw, John. Oh my gosh, this turned out so good. This picture, I want I want all of my pictures and video to look like this picture. So pretty. Even though this film isn't super, super grainy, the colors are amazing. They are like so punchy. I just, I, wow. Selfies with Mango Street. 
Look how adorable we are. That makes me wanna like go out and shoot more. Well, that was an absolute blast. People have always said, oh, there's something special about film. And I'm just like, it's expensive and inconvenient, digital all day. But I will say there is something special about film photography. And it was fun to learn kind of a new craft and play around with it. And I think I'm gonna, keep taking film pictures, that was fun. Definitely gonna try out some new film stocks. I hope you guys learned something or were inspired in some way. Make sure to go check out the video that we did on Mango Street's channel. John and I were models for a photo shoot that they documented over on their YouTube channel where you can learn a lot about photography. Let me know if you like this video, hit that subscribe button down below for new videos every single week. Until next time, stay peachy. Okay, bye.